there. So today I have me, Carly, who is an amazing woman who's done so much since starting to work with me and getting some really awesome results in her life. And Carly's agreed to come in and chat with us a little bit about it. So that way other women and men who are struggling with these same things can feel better about themselves today. How are you today, Carly? I'm, I'm doing good. Awesome. Awesome. So, so we'll jump right on in and I'll just kind of come with, up with some questions for you and see okay. how you were versus where you're at now. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. So my first question for you, which I'm sure everyone wants to know is what was it like before you started working with me? So before I started working with you, um, I, I had, I was in my, I had my second kid and then I was in the postpartum phase and, um, I kind of, I, you know, I've been an intuitive eater and, um, had been into fitness for a while, but for some reason I was very stuck. Um, and I was into, I was very much into, um, basically like, I think over really over eating, if you will, or eating way too much. Um, and then I was getting stuck in these periods where, um, you know, I stopped breastfeeding. I, I, I stopped breastfeeding at three months postpartum with my second, and I had put on 20 pounds very quickly. I think it was also going through the stress of something else. Um, but I think that plus the caloric demand of my body going, you're in breastfeeding mode, you're in breastfeeding mode after abruptly stopping, watching my body put on that much weight, um, in a short amount of time was really difficult for me. Um, and I went, it was, it was March before I started working with you, um, that my father-in-law, um, had passed away and it was a big wake up call to me, um, that I've got to really, I've got to really, um, kind of take control, if you will, of my eating habits and food that, um, I can't have that much fun with food. At least that was in my head. And I was going through these periods of like, um, I cut off a lot of the fast food. I started walking, but I would with, with food in particular, I was, it was either all healthy or I, it was either kind of all healthy and very restrictive. And then I would, you know, see a little bit of weight loss. And then, and then the rewards that I would give myself kind of, I would slack on the food, et cetera. And so really I was doing this like yo-yo kind of yo-yo dieting thing that, and I was back in the gym and not seeing the scale move and, I was just very stuck. Um, I wanted to be at a place where I was before I was pregnant with my, really my first, um, and have the level of fitness that I had or get back to that. And I just feel like I was starting from square one and I didn't know where to start. It was all kind of, I was like too stuck in my head, <laughs> if you will. And I, it was like the, the, one of the things that we, that we talked, what we talk about is a reward system. Well, I was using really the scale as a reward. Um, and I had different habits of quote reward. And I, it was just, it was, um, it was not sustainable. I, I, it was just not sustainable for me. And, um, I was frustrated and, um, wanted to, uh, take a different path, <laughs> if you will. Yeah. So what were the main problems you were really trying to solve? I was really, I was trying to get back down to a healthy weight. Um, I was trying to put muscle back on, increase my strength, increase my balance. Um, I think it was the struggle of the food that was in the house at the time. And it was a relationship with food, um, redeveloping a better relationship with food. Um, it had been better in the past, but I think, um, it kind of came off kilter. Um, and also some of the like emotional baggage with, with food, um, with food and growing up and weight culture. And, um, even how, even how I look at my body, I think. Um, so I think that those were things that, um, needed improvement and needed kind of solving if you, if you will, or a little help with. <laughs> so I love it. I love it. So, so what, you know, when you were going through these things and you had a clear path of, you know, you wanted to lose weight, you wanted to gain muscle, you wanted to have better relationship with food, better relationship with the scale, better relationship with yourself, mm -hmm. what made working with me stand out to you over working with other people? So honestly, the decision to work with you was pretty quick. I like, I, I felt, um, I had found you and I had saw, saw your posts. Um, and I really, 
so when I work with trainer, when I had worked with trainers in the gym, the component that was always missing was, um, was uh, nutrition, right? And when I would find a nutritionist, the component that was working, that was missing, sorry, was the fitness. And so the benefit to um, working with you and what I saw kind of immediately was, oh, she does, she marries nutrition with fitness. And so a combination of that, there's a lot of value in that. Um, Like it's really invaluable because I've had trainers go, you should do keto. And I'm like, what? No, (laughs) no, no, no. Or like you should drop your calories all the way down to like 1400 and then you're like starving and you're exhausted and then you're still getting your butt kicked in the gym, but you're like, what? And then you're like, oh yeah, I stuck to the diet, but really you're like at 17, 1800 calories. And then you're like, oh my gosh, am I going to like get these results that I want or like be stronger? Right. But with, with like having that, like the, the, um, the, the marriage of those two is like, so good. Plus you're a mom, you've got two kids, you get it. Like you've got a husband who's away like a lot and like, she gets it. Like she's doing this and she knows she gets it. So she'll get it for her, for her clients, for somebody like me. Right. So I think that was, um, pretty quickly. I knew I was like, yeah, she'll, this will be a right, a good fit. I love it. I love it. It sounds like the combination of personal trainer and registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. I think it's, I think it was also good because I have a background, you know, I have a background in um, cell molecular biology. So I understand some of like how your body treats this stuff, but I don't have your background of a nutritionist. And so you can break things down to me and I can come to you with like, what is a food label and what is this? And like, it's not like you're just, you're just telling me, Hey, this is what you should eat or this is how you should work out. It's like, it's like the combination. It goes hand in hand. I love it. I love it. So what made you happiest while we were working together? What was like a big kicker? I think it's meeting you where you are. Like in past, I've had really, really great trainers. If a trainer finds this that I worked with in the past, like there's a few that like, I love the, tra- okay. But like they, ones that meet you where you are, right. They don't have you change a bunch of stuff, right. Everyone goes to the rice and broccoli, only eat rice and broccoli. Like, you know, you're like, Whoa, how, how can I go from like this extreme to this extreme, right? Like, I'm sure that I've made, I've made like adjustments and habits, but nothing has been like from A to Z, you know, there may be things that I made like A to B to C to D to E, but nothing felt really super extreme. Like, you know what I mean? So they were made and you, it's right where you are. It's nothing like, oh, um, you don't have to alter your lifestyle. You're, you know, you're not saying get in the gym. I want to see the, you know, the, the log of you being in the gym. Um, we found some really creative ways or like Leslie found some really creative ways to, uh, help, help, um, help me like figure out how I can meet multiple goals in my life. Right. So when I was doing a lot of unpacking and moving, it was, Hey, take a break and do a workout. Right. And, but then it also, that creativity that she gave me also allowed me to find other ways to be creative too. So I'm, it's not like, oh, I can't work out because I have to do this. It's like, I was still able to creatively find a way to like, to accomplish a goal. And I feel like it's just feeds forward, right? Like, um, it feeds forward into other areas, like creativity to be like, how can I reach this goal? Like I, I, I may be telling myself I can't do it or I don't have time, but how can, how can I create that time? And then the other thing is like, Leslie's also available. So if you get stuck in your head and you're like, I can't do this, like, she's not going to say like, yes, you can. Of course you, she's going to be like, well, how can we find a way? Right. Like you meet you, like you're, you have a very gentle, it's like a, it's like a gentle direct approach that you have. Um, and like finding ways to like meet clients very creatively, you know, like you're like, I can't get my water in. And then you're like, well, how can we make that happen? Like, how can you make that happen? How do you think that, like, it's like kind of changing your approach and your like psychology. (laughs) It's like a psychological scrub down in a way, (laughs) but very gentle. (laughs) I love it. I like that gentle, direct approach. I'm going to use that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Anyways, what, when you were doing this and, you know, obviously you got some really awesome things there, you know, like the attention Mm -hmm. was there, the helping you to get through those things. What kind of exceeded Mm -hmm. your expectations while we were Uh, working? 
I think what exceeded my expectations were my um, husband had some results. I want to be careful with my, with his HIPAA, right? So um, there were some results that were a little concerning and like, like Leslie was like totally on board for the family, like him too. I mean, I was learning too. Like I flip all the labels over and I, I like, I'm trying to get the best thing for his health. And it's also been benefiting for me as well, but you were right there to explain, you know, the, the labels and how to pair um, foods, which I saw in the snack, but like, I really started to understand better when I was helping him and you were helping me. So, um, and you were available to talk to him as well. Like he, you know, we were both really rattled with that and you were, it was like, you, you know, it wasn't like, oh, I'll take, you know, it was like, it was like you, you were working with me, but then also um, willing to help him as well. And that was really appreciative. I mean, he was, he and I were both like freaking out. I mean, we made like, I think it was like sausages on um, like white buns or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this having like a, a, a bad effect for him? Like, is it, is it bad for his like heart health now? Like I was like freaking out and like the, what you said was like, okay, good. Like it's, I mean, he, it's not good for him to have like every single night, but like one day it's not going to, you know, make or break anything. And like the pairing of the two items, you know, were, were good. So I was like, okay, if you like, at least I know that, you know, I do, I do the majority of the, of the shopping and the majority of the, the cooking and, um, and I'm like, good, my food choices aren't going to like, um, make his health any worse, <laughs> you know? So, and we can still have fun things like that or good things like that. Um, and it's not going to like make a difference, you know, long, long term, right? Like, so I appreciate that. Um, I really, I appreciate that. I think the other thing is um, she's available 24 hours. Like Leslie is going to be available 24 hours. I mean, she's not going to wake up in the middle of the night and text you back, but um, you can, you can reach out to her um, and send her a, uh, a text um, message and like, just kind of, you know, whenever you need to, whenever you need to like offload and her responses are very, like, they're not, they're not ever going to tell you like, you're doing a bad job, right? Like they're just going to, they're going to offer support and they're going to offer, um, they're going to offer like constructive ways to like, be like, you're okay. You know, you're, you're good and how to move past that, if you will. So <laughs> it's really nice. Um, I think another, in another testimonial, it's like, that's when you need her most and it's true. <laughs> so. Love it. So, so with everything, I know everybody's curious, what results did you get while we worked together? Mm -hmm. So initially my goal was to, um, be in the gym and get strong. Right. And, and, um, I think it was, um, preserve muscle or build muscle and lose fat. Well, I started out with that goal and, um, I had a problem with like maybe a kettlebell swing or something. I don't know what happened, but like I tweaked my wrist and so it became, well, let's drop, let's just get to a healthy weight and develop a better relationship with food. And I think I was upset that I, I think personally, internally, I was upset that I like had to, um, back off the weights a little bit. Um, and just kind of let my wrist heal, which is always a struggle in fitness. It's, or anything you do is like, um, you know, there, anytime you use a group or whatever, go about your life, you could, but it's knowing how to like, let yourself recover, but then also still, you know, work on nutrition, et cetera. So I was able to work through with that, you know, go on walks, um, find other ways to move, right. Just develop that psychology of like, you know, if nutrition and food is important to me, which it is, then finding other ways to move, right? While letting my wrist sort of heal and uh, babying it for a bit. Um, and I did this all on top of like a move and relocating with two small kids and um, et cetera. So I think it, it, was, it was being able to um, untie like, you know, when you, when you do like Noom or Weight Watchers and for those that have had success with it, like that's great. But like, for me, it was bad. I started to label food as, you know, good and bad and points and red and yellow and green. And that was awful. So I found a relationship with food that was very balanced. I think that was one thing. 
Um, that was great. I found like my love for veggies, <laughs> vegetables came back. Um, I mean, I like love, love vegetables, <laughs> like forgot how much I absolutely like loved, like love vegetables. Um, and I was able, I'm able to, I think lifelong, I'd be able to like maintain a, um, a healthy weight, right? Something that's within the range of, of normal. <laughs> um, so what else? Um, and then now I'm, now I have, I'm kind of developing the self-confidence to like program my own exercises and, um, and whatnot. Like I'm like, I'm, I don't have to, I can like squash the imposter syndrome and develop that confidence that I can be in the gym and know what I'm doing. I mean, it, and have the, the humbleness of course to keep learning, but I think that's really, that's really helped. And I don't need to, I don't, I can do it more slow over time and know that I'll get the results. Um, or I can do it super quick for me. It's psychologically, it's better if I, if I'm not like counting every single calorie and, um, counting every single macros, you know, but, um, I do count my protein. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, so on top of that, you know, so it sounded like you got some self-confidence, mm -hmm. you know how to handle yourself in the gym more. Yep. The one thing you probably forgot was that you lost 26 plus pounds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's that. Back to 26 weight. pounds. Yeah. And I'm actually, it's like the scale is actually still holding steady, but I, I am seeing like changes. So I think that's more of like a body recomp, right? Like it's like, oh, I'm like, even in the progress pictures recently, I'm like, oh, there's an abs. Whoa. Like, yeah. <laughs> or like, oh, cool. So yeah, the, the 26 pounds just of like, yeah, I, I hope I've done, I hope I've done enough with that to like preserve enough muscle now that I'm like, lift, you know, lifting weights and stuff, but yeah. Um, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Sure. So I think the, the last question I have and what everybody would really want to know is, is, was the investment worth it? Is yeah. It yeah. Invest in themselves? Yeah. I, I think so. I think, um, I think that if you are, I think that if it's hard to do this alone, it's even as a like COVID now, like everything is more isolated that, um, having a coach or having somebody to work with and help having, helping you unblock is worth the investment. I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about the packages that you offer and it can seem like a lot of upfront. How am I going to work this in my budget? But really like what you get is 10, 15 years later, like the three months or six months after working with Leslie, you'll be using these skills and techniques and these mindset changes like 10, 15 years later. So like you buy a car, you buy like a used car, let's say it's what, 10 to 15,000, right? And it's like a small loan. Like if you need that health investment, and it's worth it to you, like find a small loan, like find a way to like invest in yourself, um, invest in this. And it's a small pinch. I mean, it's a small car payment really. Um, I mean, I'm a, like a numbers person, right? I mean, if you can afford it every month, if you can afford it up front, you will not be sorry. Plus there's, a, I think there's clauses where like you can cancel it. So if this isn't working for you, if, you know, it's like, there's there's outs, she's not gonna like lock you in, <laughs> um, right? Like, no, I'm taking all your money and running to Vegas. Well, she might, but no, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I love it, I love it. Well, awesome, well, I'm, I'm so proud of you and all the, the transitions you. and things that you've done so far and the results that you've gotten. It's been awesome. Um, it's been my privilege to have you as Thank a you. client um, and to, you know, we have a little bit longer that we're working with each other for sure, so yep. that's awesome. Definitely. Um, and if anybody that watches this has questions for myself or for you, I'm sure mm -hmm. you, you won't mind if they reach out in the, the group yeah, of course. Ask more questions yeah. in more detail. So, so awesome. Well, for everybody that's listening, if you are curious, uh, obviously please feel free from here to book a brainstorm call mm -hmm. outside of that. We hope that you guys have a fit and fabulous rest of your day. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.